Whoa. Eu vou começar hoje com uma princesa de verdade, a princesa Michael de Kent. Please, your highness. Your Highness, how do I call you Your Highness? <laughs> um, in England, you would say ma'am. Ma'am, yes, I like If that. you were a great friend of mine, you'd say ma'am darling. Ma'am darling? I not don't know yet, if your not husband yet, would not like yet, it. Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. <laughs> ma'am is all right? Ma'am is all right, yes. Okay. Uh, the book is here. Coroadas uh, em terras distantes. From uh, A e C, a companhia. And uh, what's the English title of the book? Crowned in a Far Country. From which point of view? Because for our point of view, England is the far country. You're right. <laughs> But these ladies, these princesses, they all came from one country and were married into another country, usually because of political reasons. Mm. They probably hadn't seen their husband before, but you in this country, you had Leopoldina come yes, from I... Austria here, and I wrote about her in this book. Um, uh, you are originally from Austria, too. I'm half Austrian, half Hungarian. The half Hungarian's the difficult half. But that's not your case because uh, your husband is a very handsome man. What are you trying to say? No, I'm saying that, uh, <laughs> I'm saying that was not a typical, um, how do you say, uh, interstate marriage. No, 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 mine was not political. Not political. No, 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 not political at not all. Not at all. No, 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 not an arranged. You know that I, uh, I used to watch you a lot and your husband during uh, Wimbledon. Mm. To the, and you were... Stanish, really. You are a very, very beautiful princess. You mean, what do you mean by were? What's this no, you were? Are, you are, no, I mean, Be you were, careful. of course you are. You know, if Be I very had, careful with you. If I had to cast someone in a movie to play the role of a princess, you would be my first choice oh, always. Really? Isn't he wonderful? No, I know. You are. You, you are. <laughs> Uh, it's not your first time in Brazil, ma'am. No, no, no. I love your country. I've been coming here very often. Since 1981, when I came to research the life of Leopoldina, coming from Austria here, to marry the young prince, uh, you know, the young... In 1808, uh, you remember, yes, sure. um, the, the, the Portuguese royal family uh, left Portugal and came to Brazil. Right. And to their great pleasure, they found a wonderful, exciting country. And then the king, Don João, decided that his son, Don Pedro, had to marry, and he chose an Austrian archduchess, an Austrian princess called Leopoldina. But the clever Portuguese had closed this wonderful country for 300 years. Nobody could come in That's right. except Portuguese and Chinese and, of course, the labor force from Africa. And with this marriage, it opened up your country right. to the world. You know everything about Brazil. That's, no, that's amazing. No, no, I don't know everything about Brazil, but I, I've been studying Brazil a long time. Yeah, I, see. I love this and country. And you, you love to say the word Leopoldina, right? You yes. say it so... No, but I have to be very careful to say it the right way here than I do in Rio. I've learned this. Yes, well, because uh, I say Leopoldina here. And Leopoldina in, mm, in Rio, in Rio, right? Leopoldina. <laughs> <laughs> But so I did, she's, I, what I did do is that I know that she came by ship and that she was overwhelmed when she saw the Sugarloaf Mountain, no? So I came by ship too. 
-hmm. the first time on a friend's boat because I wanted to have the feeling that she had when she sailed into Rio. I, I, I ignored all the buildings and mm -hmm. I had this wonderful feeling at sunset of arriving in this country. Can you imagine what it must have been like yeah. after a long, long sea journey from Italy here? Very long. You know that when I go to Angra, sometimes I, I, I do the same thing to just look at the, the coast. And it's really, and I, and I think the same thing. I mean, the, the emotion that the Portuguese had, or even mm. Leopoldina or Leopoldina, which is much more sexy, <laughs> uh, had, and they saw that thing for the first time. Mm. Incredible, yeah. incredible. But at the same time, I think she, she must have been very lonely. Don't you think so? Well, she was coming to marry a very handsome prince, mm -hmm. and she was not sadly. She, no, she very, wasn't. No, no, she but wasn't. But I, I think that she wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, really, I've seen, I've seen some She was photos. very clever. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very clever. A little bit fat, you know? Yeah, so what? <laughs> <laughs> But she rode with her husband everywhere. They went riding all over to explore this beautiful countryside. And she loved it. And she was very helpful to him. She was very helpful. She was very intelligent, very clever. And she would send back to her father animals and flowers and plants. And, and he was very pleased because he had a little zoo. And you know when she was a girl, can you imagine? Now, none of your worldly Brazilian audience can imagine this, I'm sure. But when she was one of many children and her sister was married to Napoleon, if you remember, one of many children, all the boy children on this side, they had boy animals and all the girl children had girl animals. And so until the day she married, she didn't know what was going to happen. She'd only ever seen girl animals. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Must have been quite a shock. Uh, yeah, no? well. <laughs> <laughs> Arriving I in Brazil, imagine. and this beautiful young prince was a good shock, I think. Yeah. Well, for her, yes, for her, sure. Yes, for him, maybe not. But For, um, <laughs> for him, <laughs> not He had not compensation. So much. He had compensation. No, of course. Oh, yes, yes, yes he yes, had. Yes, he, Unfortunately. He, he, he sure had, had. yes. <laughs> But uh, tell me something, there is a, uh, I think there is an animal in Brazil that you like very much to say the word, and you call it... Uh, the capivara. Yeah, capivara. I love capivara. I love it. Do you know, when I went to the Pantanal, please note how I say that, Pantanal. Yeah, Pantanal. perfect, perfect. <laughs> um, when I went with my husband to the Pantanal, um, we saw on our first day already five black jaguars. I think there are many people in Brazil who've never seen a, a jaguar or a, toucan, a... or a toucan, or a toucan flying. I own one, a car, of course, but uh, mm -hmm. the animal, Really extraordinary, never seen extraordinary. And, and when we were, we were there, um, I saw for the first time a capivara. This <laughs> is a big fat guinea pig. I mean, what? Yeah, that's it. No, it's yeah. a big fat guinea pig. And Enormous. I was told it's really a fish. I said, hello, wait a minute. <laughs> capivara is a fish? <laughs> I don't think yes, so. Yes, capivara is a fish, I was told. And I saw it go into the water and swim. I said, all right, it swims, but I can swim and I'm not a fish, you know. <laughs> and it was explained to me that in the early days, um, when uh, Catholics, and I'm a Catholic, like many, many people in your country, um, they had to eat fish on Friday. But there weren't any fish in the Pantanal to eat. But because the capivara swims, it was deemed to be a fish. <laughs> Considered a fish. Yeah. A large fish. A large fish. Hairy fish. Yeah. Hairy fish. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> beautiful. I've never eaten it. <laughs> uh, what about other, other animals? I, th I think you're a horse lover oh, too. Oh, yes, I am. And you know that Leopold, Leopoldina, hmm. I'm not allowed to say that. I was told I'm not allowed to say that. Why not? Here, because here they don't speak like the karaoke's. They speak no. you know, Leopoldina. No, I am a karaoke for So instance. I can say Leopoldina to you. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, she imported 
wonderful blood stock from Europe to improve the um, quality of the horses the, the here, horses. which was very important because it was the only way of getting about. If there wasn't a river to navigate, and I've mm -hmm. sailed up the Amazon. I mean, I've traveled a, a bit in your country, yes. You know that there is a, there is a famous horse, English horse, that won uh, many, 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 many races, Saint Léger, for instance, and uh, he was baptized by the Portuguese ambassador. Huh? Do you know what the name of the horse was? No. Filho da Puta. <laughs> You know what it means? I don't know exactly what it means. It means uh, son of a bitch. And I'll, I'll show you the photo because it was a very beautiful horse. Look at that. <laughs> and the, the, the Portuguese ambassador, who was a very naughty person, mm -hmm. and just for fun, when his friend, the owner of the horse, Sir William Maxwell, told him to baptize the horse, he said, oh, I have a beautiful name for him, Filho da Puda. But, as the story goes, this horse was a big winner. So there are many paintings of him, and always with the name, Filho da Puta. You can imagine the success it does in Brazil. Pode tirar o Filho da Puta, take it out. And uh, uh, in England, no one has the slightest idea of the meaning of the word. Mm, yes, I know. <laughs> but my father had a farm in Mozambique, so I have a little oh, knowledge have of a your language. Knowledge. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have a little knowledge of your language. So after you've been in Rio, and uh, now you're in Sao Paulo, for how long? Look, at it's beautiful. The German... Uh, Vitória Adelaide Maria Luisa, Princesa Real da Grã-Bretanha. Beautiful woman. No, she wasn't. No? It's a beautiful picture. <laughs> you see how they... They, they cheat. They fool us. Yes. They cheat. Yes, they cheat. You know that when uh, the wife of São Pedro, of Dom, Dom Pedro II, came from the boat, he cried. He said, <laughs> no, no. How am I going to... How, how am I going to manage that. But he did, mm -hmm. he did. Okay. And uh, you're going to travel through Brazil now with the, uh, with the book, showing the book, or you're just going back? I'm going to, to Rio. I'm going to Rio uh. Uh, for a few days, and then I'm going to very quietly see some friends. Mm -hmm. in, 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 we will have favorite in islands and have favorite places All to right. go. All right. Yes. Fantastic. He's and very nosy, isn't he? Yeah, I yeah, am, I am. Very yeah. nosy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Your Highness. I beg your forgiveness, please. Uh, how are you related to Queen Elizabeth? My husband is her first cousin. Their fathers were brothers. But Queen Elizabeth is the eldest of the eldest, and my husband is the youngest of the youngest. So there's a little bit of an age difference. Yeah, well. Uh, I see, but I see, I'm... I see by the photos what I said before that he's a very, a very handsome man. Very yes, handsome. very, very handsome. So that's a, that's a marriage made in heaven, really. A beautiful woman and a beautiful man. Uh, your sons must be... My children are beautiful. Yeah. Do you have pictures to show of my children? No, no. They have, they have. Mm, I have a son they, who... Okay, let's see the photos. Oh, yes, oh, that's my husband and me. Look at that. <laughs> huh? We were young then. We were young. You are young now. Yes, Come but on. now I have a 32-year-old son. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Vamos lá? That's my daughter. Me with you. my daughter. She's not married. She's 30. Hello. 